Is this normal? I don't know how she can sleep like that. It looks so uncomfortable. Hey guys, welcome back to another week in my life. As you know, I call this little studio my nook. And I'm gonna try to film this intro as quickly as possible because there's been construction going on the entire morning and right now it's like lunchtime so I think that the workers are on their break and so I finally have silence. <laughs> Today I'm wearing the top that I made last week. So it's a little bit of like a cropped top and I'm gonna be making the matching shorts. And also I finally figured out what fragrance this is. So in the previous video I was like talking about my little haul of this Just A Tint um, lip crayon and basically my Colourpop haul, I was super super happy with that so if you're interested you can check out the previous video. In that video I was talking about how I couldn't really figure out what this smells like. It smells like a really familiar fruit and I reckon that it smells like the lychee fruit. Let me know down in the comments if you have this and you agree because I really want to know if this really smells like lychee. Also, my other Adidas pair of shoes arrived but unfortunately I will be returning them because it is a little bit too big. I got this in a 4.5 but I finally figured out that the most comfortable size for me when it comes to trainer shoes are size UK4. So this is a UK 4.5 and um, yeah, my foot kind of just like moves around a little bit when I try walking in them which is so sad. But this is a really pretty pair, as you can tell. It's really nice mountain embroidery, which I showed in the previous video. So I'm a little bit bummed <laughs> that this is not one that I will be keeping. Although I am really happy with this other pair, which I showed previously. And I think that this is a really beautiful pair as well. It's probably more unique than the Stan Smiths. So I'm fine with keeping this because if I were to pick between the two, I think that this is definitely more unique and I'm happy keeping this. So the game plan for today is to make the matching pair of shorts and then I want to be making the same set in a French Terry and perhaps I'll start working on a new design. We'll see how that goes but I feel like this week is probably going to be super super productive and before we jump into the b-roll of like the sewing and stuff I wanted to say that I'm super amused with my new camera setup so previously I was having my camera on my PGY Tech tripod and I do like this tripod a lot I definitely prefer this over the switch pod which I've owned and sold I didn't think that the switch pod was um, that great and I think ergonomics wise and like practicality, I definitely recommend this tripod. This is the Mantis Pod Pro by PGY Tech. I would say like it's a really well thought out and well designed tripod and I can definitely recommend it. And it's, it gets its Mantis name because it has this little contraption which allows you to like hang the tripod in like all sorts of interesting and creative ways. So I've mostly had my camera sitting on this on the table but I felt that it's a little bit low in terms of angle especially when it comes to like a headshot. So I wanted something that was more practical and something that's elevated and doesn't require me to have a tripod set up because then the legs would get in the way of me making things. So I finally have this cute little setup which I'm super super proud of. I was tinkering with it this morning and I wanted to show you guys because I just find it super funny. <laughs> so I have my monitor here which I like to attach to below my camera. So my camera would sit up here. Um, but before that, I have it mounted to my Aperture ball head. This came in really handy and this ball head was included when I bought the um, Aperture A7 um, light ages ago. So it's basically just mounted at the base of my cage and I attach it using this little claw from UU Rig. I actually really like this claw, it's really sturdy and you've got many mounting points which is really cool. So all the products, I'll put um, links to it in the description box below if you're interested. So what I'll do is um, attach this to that and clip it on here. So 
So now the monitor is attached and above it is where I'll place the camera. But before that, we have the Manfrotto claw. So I use this for the camera because it's pretty heavy duty. And attached to that is this Durian adapter, which I really, really like. It's one that originally is for like the um, gimbals, but you can buy it as a separate piece. And um, it's really cool. It's really hard to demonstrate with one hand, but basically this um, is a quick release plate. And this top bit um, is able to pop off. So I can essentially remove this ball head very quickly. What it looks like when it's removed from, um, yeah, the quick release part. And then you can just like push it back in. So attached to the Jiryin quick release is my Suri ball head. And this was what I have when I bought a tripod. And attached to that is this PGY Tech um, snap lock quick release plate. So it's like an Arca Swiss mount, which makes um, the attachment like really seamless. And what I love about PGY Tech's quick release system is that this thing does not budge. So this is the quick release plate. And somehow they have this ergonomics of it whereby once you attach it to the base of your camera, it doesn't move. And this is seriously a game changer because I've tested so many other quick release plates and they always move. Like as you um, go about your shoot and stuff, like it just comes off loose and it's so annoying. But so far I haven't had to tighten this mounting plate, which is really awesome. You've got this button which helps with the releasing or locking and there's also a lock which you kind of slide it. That's basically how I would mount my camera and that would be facing me. So this is what it looks like. Just imagine my camera up there. But this is my little tabletop setup. Oh my gosh, I got such a surprise. So my mom was at Don Don Donkey. That's <laughs> such a mouthful. It's basically this really popular Japanese chain that um, sells a lot of different stuff. They sell food and they sell like, yeah, a lot of things. I don't even know how to describe it. But yeah, my mom came back. Uh, she was asking me if I wanted any food and I really love this particular sushi from there. It's the California roll. It is so yummy. So this is like the packaging. Yeah, it's so good. And we also had pancakes this morning. So today is a pretty good day for lunch. <laughs> I am loving it. Also the Justatin lip crayon is pretty much like gone because I've been eating. So it's definitely a product that you have to reapply every now and then, especially if you eat and drink. It is Thursday and I'm finally done with my pattern making. I feel really accomplished this week. Although I might be making two more pieces, we'll see how that goes because I might be filming a little bit of a lookbook. I'm still contemplating. Also, I need to check with my closet if I am able to put things together. Otherwise, I might postpone that for another time. <laughs> right now, I'm wearing um, the French terry top that I made. I think it looks pretty cute, it's really casual and I didn't make a matching pair of shorts because when I tried the matching linen set, which I have over here, I personally think that the styling doesn't go that well together because there's like too much going on with two elasticated waists. So thinking about it, I figured that it would be better to style these two separately as separate pieces 
and um, if I were to like redo this I would probably make it as a one-piece romper and um, only have one elasticated waist because yeah I feel like right now it's just clashing but it turned out nice as individual pieces and I'm gonna try to find um, separates which I can pair with this I also have another pair of shorts which I think looks pretty legit so this is in like a stretch cotton spandex fabric and um, I went with this khaki color. I actually have a couple of colors in this fabric because I thought it will be nice as like a jumpsuit or as bottoms. So I wanted to test with this and I'm pretty happy with the results. The only thing I would say is to make the waistband a little bit shorter so that it's a little bit more snug on me. But other than that, I think it's pretty cute. And I'm also gonna try to style this as well. My closet's pretty sad. <laughs> but a goal of mine is to actually fill my closet with things that I've made. And um, it's a slow but steady step. Uh, most of the tops that I've made are actually not in this closet, it's in a drawer because it's like a lot. It's basically all my shirt tops which I've made um, over the last year. So that's why this closet's not looking very colourful because those tops are filled with prints and I really like looking at them. For now, this is what I have and yeah, let's see if I can put something together. So as mentioned earlier, I don't think that this works as a set because there's too much elastic going on. But I would definitely wear this as separates. So let me try and see if I can piece together something. It took me a really long time trying to put looks together but I'm actually super happy with the results. This is one of them which I feel is like a little bit Nancy Drew-esque. It's kind of crazy with the plaid but I really like it. I'm wearing it with a pair of white stilettos which I love and I actually like the styling of this um, gold necklace pairing. I don't normally wear jewellery but after wearing this and seeing how it elevates the look, I'm actually more inspired to wear jewellery and I think the shorts look really great as well. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna pack up this mess and hopefully we'll get to shooting next week. By the way, this is really random but I thought it might be helpful for anyone. So as you can see over here, I have a top which I picked out and I wanted to style with my DIYs but I noticed that there's like pilling which is like all these little balls of fabric. So an easy way to get rid of it is actually using this tool. So this is like a, um, a device from Philips which I really love. It's double A battery operator and basically you use it as like a razor to remove all of these pillings. It's actually really really therapeutic especially if you use it like on um, a pillowcase or like a piece of clothing that has a lot of this. So this top has quite a bit of it so we'll remove it right now. <laughs> So as you can see, it's like so much smoother now. There's still a little bit of pilling here, so I'm gonna remove it. It's all smooth again, which is awesome. And when you're done removing it, you can just remove this bit and then all the fluff comes out. 